The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building, New Orleans Zone. Rob 49. What's that? My guy, how you feeling today? Good, brother. What you on? Glad to have you here, man. What's that, brother? Long time coming. Long time coming. Overdue. Man, long overdue. Yo, um, cause like the first time that I really got to see you live, we were talking about it, was at um the Nardo Wick show. Yeah. Um, I think it was Music Hall Williamsburg. You were there, two six AR. Yeah. Dope ass show, by the way. Yeah. Dope ass show, by the way. I know we've been trying to do this a couple times, but I'm happy we finally made it, man. Well, it's definitely, brother. I'm glad too. And I love the freestyle, by the way. You like it? Uh, yeah, yeah. One take. One take, by the way. One take four. Are you always a one take person? Um, not really. I just, I just, I just ain't really. You know, you care too much sometimes. I just ain't give a fuck today. I just know that shit was going like. Do you care? Do you feel like um, what's the word I'm looking for? Are you like hypercritical of your work? Like, are you someone yeah. who go back and do something a million times? Yeah, I just knew this was going like, cause this wasn't even. If you hit a freestyle, you know it wasn't about no swag shit. Like, you know it's some real shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Which I feel like, you know, if people listen to your music and then they hear this freestyle, they get a very different side of you on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, facts though. And I thought that that was really dope, cause you know you could have come in here on some swag shit, like you said, and done like you know what yeah. what you know your fans love, right? Yeah, yeah. But they really need to get this personal side of you too, right? Yeah, facts though. That's why I did it like that. Why do you feel like you don't give enough to your fans sometimes? Like of that Yeah, side? facts though. I feel like I don't get enough, but at the same time, sometimes I be feeling like they don't even want that shit. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because it's a young nigga world. I feel like they just want that young turn nigga shit. Mm. You like more like something like as they get older. Yeah, as they get older, they might be like, all right, we ready for him to go in onto this shit, but I don't think right now they won't see that shit. Do you feel like you're getting into that space now? Uh-uh. Probably like two, three more years, probably. Then I'll probably start going over there like that. You have joints like that kind of like in the tuck? Yeah, I got a lot of those. I started off wanting to be that type of rapper. Like kind of like, I guess, quote-unquote conscious Yeah, I wanted to be, not conscious, but just a rapper who talk about like what I didn't really been through. And, and not a rap sense, just like a like a real sense, like how the how the how the freestyle is. I wanted to be that type of rapper. Right, like you look at like the like the Jada Kisses and the Benny the Butcher of the world. Like, no, no, no. I, I let that meat, like the like meat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what it was. Which is why it was like a Meek Mill type beat too. Yeah, it's a Meek Mill type beat. What was so you wanted to start off like that, but then what was kind of like the like the, <clears throat> the catalyst for change where you were like, okay, like I, this is what I want to do, but. I'm gonna make this young turn shit instead. Uh, probably like one night I was in the studio just feeling hype. I just made a song. That's the one they was fucking with. So I tried to stick to the formula. You know what I'm saying? Probably that. Do you always feel like you have to stick to that formula? What's the music? Um, I don't know. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been jumping around like lately. Like my tape, I'm about to drop it. Like at the end of April, you are gonna hear a, co a couple of different vibes on it. Mm -hmm. So I kind of been jumping around lately. So not really. I don't feel like always. Right. I just don't think it's the right time to go strictly like rap mode, like Kendrick Lamar rap mode. <laughs> I don't think it's the right time for that yet. In two to three years. Two to three years, probably I'll just be rapping just for fun. Right. But I feel like also you kind of like you've been in this game for three years now with yeah. the tapes and dropping and dropping music and I feel like you know you're kind of you're starting to get, I feel like you're starting to get to that point now where you're starting to be like I right, like I've done you know what I've done for three years and it's worked and then now I feel like you're also kind of getting to a space where you're like I want something more yeah yeah right now I've been trying to make the music that I make like I've been trying to make it into real songs because I wasn't making no hooks and shit before now I'm trying to start making hooks to the shit I was saying before. So I ain't off it yet because now I'm starting to get into the hooks with it. Mm. And let me see how that go like that. Right. You're starting to learn more about like song uh, structure, structure and shit. Whole. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what it is. I feel like that's like kind of, it was funny because I was watching like the, like, you know, Rap Caviar got that new sh shit on Hulu where like Tyler the Creator and a bunch of people and like Tyler the Creator, he was talking about like how he had to learn how to like make songs and song structure yeah. and because like when you come into the game you don't really know about how to like make a proper song you make music and it's fire but like how to properly structure a song with the hooks and the verses and shit like that yeah i ain't know nothing about that shit 
How did you teach yourself? Or did somebody help teach you? Like, how did you kind of um, start learning about this, proper structure? The, the first song that I structured was named Hustler. Hmm. I had dropped it, it went crazy, but that song ain't even had no structure. Shout out my dog, Shife, who was in the studio. And he like, man, you need some structure on this song. I came back the next day. It was Hustler, that's me. That's a, and I was like, oh, yeah, this just sound hard. And they played three times in the song. I'm like, all right, let's, let's drop it and see how it go. And he just loved it. So I just been letting him structure my shit. Hmm. But now how are you starting to get more hands on? Like, or is he like kind of showing you how to structure things or, you know, yeah. obviously you have a lot of great people around you like Birdman. Like, do these people like kind of be like, okay, yo, Rob, so you got to learn how to structure this like this now? Like, I really, Birdman just let me go wherever I want to go with. Like, mm. cause he feel like whatever I think hard, hard. But I, I, I just been trying to just rap through the whole beat and just let people structure it later when I listen to it. Mm. That's about it. You just like to rap. <laughs> yeah, I just be want rap and just say it. I just want rap to that bitch go off. Like, well, I feel like it's also you know when you talk about like song structures, that at the end of the day is also what helps you level up as an artist too. Because mm. obviously your bars is is there too. It's, uh -huh. And then now that you got the song structure, you just, it's kind of like a win win situation. Yeah, that's what it is. So you talk. So the new project it actually drops at the end of April, right? For yeah. God too. Yeah. Um, sequel to the 2021 project. Yeah. So you said that this is like a, a kind of like a mix now that we're getting from you. Yeah, it's 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 probably like one of my first projects that I really like. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that I listen to in my car. Like probably my other ones I probably wouldn't listen to that shit in my car. Like this some shit like if it was another person I'd be like, Yeah, he hard. You wanna put him me. onto it. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? I'd be like, Man, listen to this dude, dude. Like that's how I'd be if I listen to this. Well why so why would you play people or play, you know, someone else this in your car versus any of your other joints? <sighs> Just cause this feel like, this feel like what I was listening to in high school. Like, this this give me that same vibe, that same feel, like some shit I I like listening to. I I, I just went got all the vibes that I would want to listen to and put them on my shit. That's really what it is. Mm. And who's uh who was uh like Rob Forty Nine in high school? Who were you listening to? I was listening to Future Heaven in high school. Mm. So it's 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 kind of like that that trap that trap feel like that real trap feel. That's really what it is. I put some like my favorite artists on there. Like I'm looking back at it, like, damn, I used to listen to you all day. You on my shit, now. You see what I'm saying? Right. So yeah. who you have on this project with you? Um, I got, I got, I got Dirk on there. Fire. I got Roddy Rich on there. I got um, Trippy Red on there. I got no Cap. The baby on there. Right, the new joint that just dropped. Who else? Who else on there? I think that's about it. I think that's about it. I ain't trying to go feature crazy. I got Ice with Vezo on there. I said that. No, you didn't. Yeah, I got Ice with Vezo on there. Yeah, Vezo yeah. hard as fuck. I seen his his freestyle. Oh, the laffy taffy shit. <laughs> Man, that shit was hard, gang. The funny thing about that freestyle, like when he came to do it, his man's was like shaking his head in the corner, like why why did you pick this beat? And he was like, time out. Okay, hold on. Mike fucked up. I'll just retell. I'll I'll re-say that part. I fucked up. No, 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 no. It does this shit like once a day. Normally towards the end of the night. We good? All right, so I'll just say that part again. But yeah, so when Vezo came and did his freestyle, his man's in the corner was like shaking his head because I think, I guess he was like, you know, yeah, why did you pick a Detroit saying. beat? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and then he's like, and Vezo was like, nah, trust me. And then I, I think we we're all kind of like laffy taffy. And then he just, you know, Vezel does what he does, and he's a master of what he does. And he, yeah. just, he smoked that shit. That shit was hard as fuck. That was um. So with so with your project, all right, so you said Dirk, Roddy, Vezel, No Cap, um, and you said so you were like you were talking about people who you were listening to in high school. Would you like you mean like Dirk? Yeah, Vezo? I was listening to Dirk, Vezel, Vezel not in high school, but I listened to Vezel like when I was on my come up. Right, right, right. But like Roddy Rich and shit, I remember listening to that shit and be like, man, that shit crazy. So how do, so getting those type of records right on this project, how did how does that happen? Is it through like your people? Are you guys are you meeting no, them they, in person? Like I was I was meeting myself, like this damn that's crazy. This team had nothing to do with no type of label shit and that. Like I really did all this myself. Dirk hit me up and told me he wanted to make songs. Um, Roddy, I had I had Wound up meeting Roddy like brother or something like that. I'm like, man, I fuck with Roddy. And, um, I thought he was capping me down though. I'm like, man, fuck, tell him fuck with me and shit. He like, say less. And I wind up, um, he sent me a number. I wind up calling, he answered. 
Wow. Like, I'm like, man, where you at? We had got a studio that night in LA. Um, who else on my shit? Vezo. Vezo was one of my first big features. Mm. So Vezo watched me blow up. So that was automatic. Um, who else? Trippy. Shout out my dog Zona. Zona called Trippy on the phone. I'm like, man, I'm about to bring him over here. Y'all about to make some music and shit. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm like, man, he know me. Like, he like, yeah, he know you, nigga. You lit. Like, what you talking about? And then he brought me over that we wanted up making songs. I made his tape. I told him I wanted one for mine. We did that. And No Cap, I was cool with No Cap, brother. I met No Cap, brother, like, probably three months into me rapping. He was trying to start a clothing line, and one of my homies was doing, like, designing clothes. I mean, him was in there talking for, like, two hours. I ain't know nothing about him. He ain't know nothing about me. He like, man, I be rapping and shit. Then I had wound up getting his information. Then Cap got out of jail, and I seen he was posting Cap and shit. And then he told me, pull up one day. He said, man, I want you and my brother to get on some shit. I'm like, who your brother is? And it was no Cap, brother. Crazy. Yeah. So everything, I like how everything has been organic with this project. Yeah, yeah, thanks. It's organic, everything about it. Because it's like, even from like, you know, you being like, oh, this is like, you getting different sides of Rob 49 and the organicness of it just kind of feels like this is entering a different like level of your career now too. Yeah, thanks. Oh, her man, how can I forget oh, my got fucking the brother, man? That's that's fine. That's my real brother, man. Her, that's automatic, man. Her, this, we do this shit all day. That's my dog. I think um, you mentioned Vezo. I feel like you shot a video for for that song you did with Vezo, right? Nah, not well. That old shit, yeah. Yeah, you had a video out for. A yeah, I had a video. That was like what, 2021? Yeah, 2021. Because I think I interviewed on. I think I interviewed Vezo on Zoom back then, because you know pandemic shit. Yeah. And I think we had. I, I briefly mentioned it, and I think that helped spark the conversation because Vezo and I had a. Uh, we spoke about how he's always looking for like the next hot artist because he mm -hmm. always wants to show love because he feels that when he was coming up he didn't get that type of love. So whenever yeah. he sees someone who fucks with him, someone like you or uh -huh. someone from Detroit, he uh, always face though. he always makes that f conscious effort to do something with that person to get back so they don't feel like oh nobody older in the game fuck with me at the time of my come up type shit. He didn't want people to feel how he felt. And I think yeah. that's pretty tight. Thanks though. Thanks though. Nah, I think so. You know what's funny? Well, um, damn, I'm I'm thinking about like every feature on my tape got a real story behind it. Cause I remember the the day I met Herb, I saw Herb bumping my music on his story the day I met him. And, but I ain't never I had DM'd him, but you know, like, I'm thinking he ain't gonna never see this shit. Me and Noto had a show in LA, mm. and Noto was bringing him out cause he was on a remix. And I'm walking downstairs, I'm like, man, I fuck with you. I'm like, man, I got all your shit downloaded. You know, you got to scroll down on your app music library because the shit at the top, that means you just downloaded that shit. Yeah. So I got this shit all the way at the bottom. It's all his tapes. She's like, man, how the fuck would you pull up to the studio tonight? I listen to you every day. I was like, fuck, this nigga listen to me every day? And we just wound up locking him in like five songs. That's crazy. Yeah, I think so. Is that weird for you to have these type of moments now? Nah, I'm just like, grateful, bro. Do you process them? Are you, like, are you able to like be like, damn, man, like, do you really get to live in, in those moments, or is it just kind of all happening so fast sometimes? Um, it be happening fast, but really, I don't be thinking about it because I know I deserve that type of shit. Like, mm -hmm. cause I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing for everybody else. Like, so I deserve that type of shit. It's just, it's just regular to me for real. Right, right. Like Vezo said, like you know what I'm saying. Be do right now for the next generation. Also, no, yeah, fast though. That's fire, man. I'm glad that I'm glad that you're having this moment with your tape too, because like I feel like, you know, you've kind of become like this artist in this game that's like a staple amongst the younger artists, and it's like it's only kind of like, you good? Yeah, <laughs> and it's only going up from here. And you just got nominated uh, for the Double XL ten spot. I Freshman. hope that shit go, man. I hope that. How shit you feeling go. about that? I mean, fuck. I'm just praying to God I do it. That's some shit I always wanted to do. I ain't one of the rappers who's gonna be like. Posting this shit, be like, yeah, yeah, go for it. I'm posting the fuck out this shit. Like, man, I'm trying to get this motherfucker. Like, I ain't trying to play it cool. I said, I really want it, son. Uh, I it go. I'm still gonna be happy for everybody. Right. Everybody put in work. If you think, if you envision yourself on on the cover, right, and you're like, you know, you know, because they have the they do the shoot in New York or whatever, and you like looking around, who are two people you want to see next to you? I won't see Ice Spice and Lola Brooke. <laughs> See, you said two New York people, so that, I fuck with you. That's what I want to see on that motherfucker for real. Lola Brooke rapping her fucking ass off. Like, she hard. She hard, dog. She, you know why, though? I'm a big DMX fan. Mm. And she reminds me so much of DMX, bro. 
You know, I have an interview with her from when she like when that song first came out like two years ago, and in that interview, she's actually singing like DMX, and I gotta find that clip. But that it's funny that you said that because she's heavily inspired by DMX. I know I can hear it because I'm I'm real I'm real inspired by DMX too, mm. so I can hear that shit. What's your favorite DMX song? You know, it's funny. My favorite DMX song probably like his skits though. Really? Yeah, I like them prayer skits. I don't know why that shit should be so hard. And here we, I go like, here we go again, crazy. Here we go again. Here we go again, go hard. Yeah, that shit hard. But I like how you said the 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 two New Yorkers because I said um, I said them on um on my Amazon show. I'm like, look, man, New York, we ain't had somebody on the cover in a little minute, maybe in a couple years since maybe Favi, I feel like. And I'm like, Ice Spice and, and Lola Brooke are like the two perfect people, and it's and because they they just two dope ass women from New York, two different energies, but. They both killing that shit too. No, nah, thanks though. You know what's funny? I'm thinking about it. Like, a lot of my favorite artists from New York. For real. Like Biggie. Mm -hmm. Like I grew up listening to Biggie, heavy as fuck. Run DMC. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Not for real. I used to be, <laughs> I used to be inside watching Crush Groove all day. For real. Like I'm a real New York fan. I didn't even know that shit to just know. Was that something that you put yourself onto, or was that kind of like being played put, in your crib? I put, or? I put myself onto that because I remember I remember watching him and um, I remember watching Biggie and Tupac on a um, on a um, cipher. They were sitting at a table. Hmm. I got seven like eleven. It's about you remember yeah. they did that. I was just like, man, he crazy biting Tupac head off. That's the that's the life we come from. Hmm. I I know I know Pac come from that life too, but Biggie was talking about like just straight this like. Crazy, so it's like, uh, I put myself on that shit though. That's fire because, like, you know, like a lot of people might try to be like, oh, I feel like every year when the double XL cover comes around too, just kind of bringing it back to that a little bit, people love to be like, oh, they probably don't nothing, know nothing about this, about that, and then you know what I'm saying. So yeah. like, they would probably uh, people would assume off red like, oh, Rob Forty, he probably don't know what does he know about that, you know what I'm saying? But it's cool to see that like, you know. It's like if anybody even tried you with that, you'd be like, nah, I got the receipts of like the shit that I like. Uh huh. Thanks too. Might as well move to New York, my boy. Hell no, man. I got too <laughs> much going on down here. Yeah, way too much people. Too many people down here. It's just too many people for it's you. It's too many people, bro. Too many. Traffic. It's not even traffic. It's just so many people. You'll come to New York and feel like you gonna never make it in life. Like that's how big this shit is. Y'all know I'm not tripping, bro. Like you can go downtown and look up at the buildings and be like, <laughs> I ain't gonna be shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny, bro? I swear to God, man, New York got a big staple on my life, though. Yeah. The my first trailer I made was in New York. Like my first trailer to my my first song. I remember sitting in the bathroom and was like. Man, what if this shit work for me? Like, like I really have enough to go. Cause I remember I was passing up quiet studios. Mm. I'm like, damn, I wonder how it is up there. Like, I'm like, man, if I make it with this shit, I won't do all that shit. That shit crazy. I really made it with this shit. Like, thank God. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, cause I seen even I forgot where I saw it, but I wrote it down. You even dropped the top five. You said Wayne, Drake, Future, Meek, and Biggie, and even. <laughs> Biggie. Yeah, big in my top five, bro. That dude crazy to me. I know, like, damn, all his songs. I know damn all his songs for real. Break down your top five, like the re the reasoning behind each person. Man, Wayne just all right. It's like I'm I'm a, I'm a Wayne fan. I'm a Wayne lyric fan. Like I'm not a crazy fan. I just won't be like Wayne. I won't dress like Wayne. It wasn't that. I just know nobody could top his balls. Period. Like who the second one was. Uh, Drake. Drake just, I don't know. I feel like right now Drake better than Wayne. Right now, that's how I feel. Mm. He's just an all-around person. Like, he's just crazy. Who the third one was? Future. <laughs> Damn, this is a good list I got going on. <laughs> um, Future, Future is what I grew up listening to. He who made me, like, feel like. Uh, you could be that swag nigga, like you you could put some drip on it, like you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He really who made me start getting drippy for real. Just trying to just trying to follow that drip. And who who number four was? Well, you had Biggie, and then you also had uh, the last one. Well, you had Biggie. That we'll say that's number four. You kind of already spoke about Biggie. Yeah. And then number five was Meek. But oh, this is in no order, by the way, either. Yeah. Oh yeah, Meek, Meek, Meek the Meek the greatest man. I just showed you on the freestyle. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's why I've been like Meek really in my. Top two for real, 
far as like shit that I listen to, mm-hmm. like I, I listen to Meek more than I listen to Wayne and Drake. For real. I feel like Drake and Wayne got to go do another one of the, You remember a uh, long time ago they did the Drake versus Lil Wayne tour? Yeah, yeah. They got to do that, that shit again. I remember that. Somebody was just talking about that the other day. I just saw one clip from it. I ain't seen nothing else from it though. Yeah, it's like one clip, uh, one clip going around on Twitter, and it's just like I, I know what I know what you talking yeah, about. Yeah, I just too. saw one clip of it. Cause I feel like that would be hard. Cause you saw like they did, um, they had the whole like Wayne versus Fifty shit, right? Which we already, which I already said Wayne is. I, I might be from New York, but Wayne is killing Fifty in a versus, right? Almost deaf. What the fuck? Um, but I saw, but then like you know, Jim Jones the other day was like, oh yeah, Drake is like top three of all. If Drake's not in your top three of all time. You don't um, know what rap is. You're crazy. No, nah, facts though. And a lot of people was mad at him, but I, but I, I kind of agree with him too. Because mm-hmm. it's just like, how can you not? I feel like people always got to. People feel like their list always got to be like, okay, it's got to be like Ho, Biggie, Pac, and then two other rappers from like the early 2000s. And yeah, the 90s. But it's just, like you got to start including like people who is younger now too. Yeah, facts though. This shit, is, that's like not putting Steph on your top 20 list. Like, mm. like that man is really great now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And it's hard because hip hop's 50, 50 years old this year. So it's like you uh-huh. got 50 years of, of artists. You know what I'm saying? You got to su- at some point start including like the Meek Mills and, uh-huh. and the Drakes and, you know, you know, in some case, obviously like the Waynes and shit. Like you got to put these people in your list too. I, know, I think I got the perfect list right there. I, I like th- your list. I, I think my list is, the, I think I got the perfect list, bro. <laughs> Who you think should be on that list? That, that you missed? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm New York biased. I would have put Hope somewhere, but like, I don't, but it is hard for me. Like, if we did like who I was listening to, growing up, I feel like I would have put X, DMX. DMX would have DMX yeah, could go on my list. DMX, I would, I got, I definitely got Drake. I definitely got Hove. I definitely got Biggie, and then I'll probably put, I'll put Kendrick in there too. I Bro, like you wouldn't put Wayne. Yeah. That's not crazy. In mind, not in mind though. That's not crazy. For sure. You bro, tripping. I'm from New York. <laughs> you tripping, bro? Ain't nobody in New York yeah, better than Wayne, bro. In New York, nobody. Nobody can rap better than Wayne. Huh? I thought you were saying. I thought you. I thought you had somebody that you wanted to say. Nobody in New York can rap better than Wayne. So who? Okay, so okay, you said Drake would beat would beat him in the verses, though. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right about that. What's your favorite Drake album? Probably views. Views. Everybody says views. Really, probably views. Uh, if you're reading this too late, that shit was crazy. Really? I always say take care. No, see, you ain't knowing that. <laughs> you ain't that old. <laughs> I don't know shit. why. I, I will be. I will be the old head on this one. Yeah, you the old head right now, bro. Don't do that. Bro. I'm 26. That's okay. I'll take it. How old I look? You like 20. Four, yeah, like, you saying it like you old. You right there. I feel old. Yeah, I feel no, old. You right there, man. You supposed to be talking about 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 if you're reading it too late. I liked if you're reading this is too late, but I still, but I don't know. I feel like Take Care has kind of been like a consistent album that I've always gone back to in my life. Views too. I, views. Take, the thing is, views and Take Care kind of always like right there for me. Uh huh. It just depends what, what. Take Care got um, look what you done on it. Yep. Yep, take care, guy. Look what you've done on it. That bitch um, could be right there. I ain't gonna lie. Underground Kings, Lord knows. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you got some shit. All right, all right. Uh, all right. The Rod practice, <laughs> obviously. Hell yeah, fucking right. What was the other joint on there? Yeah, that might be Bird. the greatest one. That might be the greatest one. Yeah, Bird Alive interlude with Kendrick. But I might tell you, I don't look for hits in music. Me neither. That's what you sound like you're listening for. Nah, I feel like hell you, yeah, fucking right, got hits, fucking right. All right, what the fuck? No, views got bigger hits. No, we no, fuck no. We not talking about that. <laughs> nah, bro. Come on, bro. Don't do me that, bro. Cause you you talking about hell yeah, fucking right. Compared to views, you don't think you don't think um one dance was a bigger song than hell yeah. One dance, right? but one dance a vibe. But it's a bigger record. Hell yeah, fucking right. Is you trying to make a hit in here? One dance like this bitch good. This bitch bumping. This bitch hell yeah. Like, that album had views had one dance hotline bling control controller. One Thank you. Child's Play. Child's Play. You said, What's the song with Rihanna on that one? Too Good. Too Good, yep. Hotline Bling. Yo, bro, that Too Good record, I cannot, like, every hour on the motherfucking hour that summer when I worked at the radio station, that song was playing. 
And then on every half hour, one dance was playing. Man, and every 45 the, minutes, controller was bling, playing. Hello. Oh, yeah, <laughs> face. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that shit. She, she so like, you know I'm right. If you driving in 2016, summer 20, you hearing four Drake records within an hour. He had that shit sold up. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. That's why I feel like, I mean, you definitely right. Take Care got hits on it, but not as much as Views. Yeah. But then Views also got, like, I feel like records that have just, like, aged, like, very well with time, like Fire and Desire. Yeah. Uh, Western Road Flows. Uh -huh. I'm trying to think what other ones on there that I really like that kind of... I know, I'm so glad he made shit like that, bro. I'm thinking about that shit. I be thinking about where I was in life when all that came out. Like, damn. Where were you? Fucked up. Mm. That shit crazy. What do you feel like helped you come out of, like, or pull yourself out of that, that dark time in your life? Just because I... I we ain't about to be sitting here just being boohoo. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> fuck no, nigga. We trying to go turn up. So I just I just wanted to turn up. That's it. Just keep going. I knew that shit was going to work for me. Right. I always know I was going to be like one of the ones since I was small. As you should. What's that? You know, you, you ever should. been walking around like, I'm about to be that. I'm about to be that like one day. Yeah. I already knew it. Even if you don't know exactly like your path. What it is, yeah. yeah. I just can't believe it really happened though. Cause you know, I was, it got to a point where I was saying that shit in my head, like, you keep saying that shit to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't believe it really happened. Yeah, I be thinking about that too, like with this shit. I be like, I didn't, like, in high, what? Oh, yeah, what the fuck is we doing here? When I was in, um, when I was in high school, I was just like thinking about, like, damn, like, I'm not really good at this. I'm not really good at that. I don't know what I'm doing, but I know I'm supposed to do something. And you just, you kind of like had that sixth sense. You like you know you're supposed thought, to be doing something, but you I don't thought know I was what. gonna be selling houses. After <laughs> after I, after I got kicked out of the basketball team, I'm like, man, listen, bro, that was your last hope. You gonna sell houses? If you don't get rich, sell houses, bitch. You just ain't getting rich. Yeah, like Face a little it. army sense too, right? Yeah, yeah, but that shit ain't nothing, man. That shit like a hundred dollars a month. Because when people hit army, they don't even know. Like, it's an army, so where you going every day? Mm -hmm. It's an army, so where you go to that shit like one time a month, like. That's what I was in the one time a month. They giving us a hundred dollars. Like you can't get rich like that. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That shit was Reserve? nothing. Yeah, That's that crazy. Like that. I actually had like there was an, we had an artist here from Memphis, um, and he was in the army, and he still did his music show. And they tried to kick him out of the army. They came. <laughs> they, well, they didn't kick me out. They just let me go. Yeah. They tried to kick him out for the music. For real? For the real. fuck? Yeah. Fuck he rapping about? <laughs> Memphis shit. <I'll, laughs> this is Memphis shit. You feel me? I believe your music that much. I might kick you out. I believe your shit. <laughs> what is he rapping about, man? Now nah, they let him stay though. I think he's still in the army now, but they let him. They let him stay. But that, like, yeah, it. You know, I get it though. You like at some point you were like, I know I have to do something, but you got to figure out like what it is, and that shit takes time. It's not overnight. Nah, thanks so. though. But I'm glad you pulled yourself out of that out of that place, my guy. Like, you tough, know what I'm saying? Man. Do you have any like? Things outside of the music you want to get into too? Um, I got this cologne and perfume business I'm starting right now. Man, y'all got y'all gotta push this. I ain't gonna lie, cologne perfume, man. This is your First, clip right here. Look, yeah, look, right look at <laughs> black owned, and I'm not just saying black owned to be one of the people, black owned people. Like you know what I'm saying, them aggravating people. I won't <laughs> be that. I just want y'all to support. This shit is good for real. Some metal, turn me up. But I'm gonna do some houses and shit like you know, 18 Willis. Right. Yeah, that's about it. Still somehow you end up selling houses too. I know. <laughs> Not because I, I always wanted to design some fly shit, mm -hmm. like so I just about to use my mind to, to I'm about to really start designing my shit from ground up instead of buying properties. Like the like cribs. Yeah. yeah. Like Drake did. He, he, what he did? Oh, you, you haven't seen his compound? Oh yeah, I seen that shit. Yeah. But I'm not talking about like that. I'm saying like for sale. Like, oh, okay, like you. I want it to be okay. my idea from top to bottom, and whoever loves my idea, you buy the house. Like, mm. instead of just keep buying rental properties, you're like, all right, just fix that shit up. You know what I'm saying? I, have you noticed how like this whole interview you're just talking about how like everything just comes full circle, like from the Herbo shit to like the Dirk shit? To, yeah, like, that's how. That's like, how my life been houses. lately, bro. I swear to God. Listen, I had a dream. I had a dream that um. I remember in high school, I had this dream. I was a big Future fan, bro. I had a dream. I walked in the dressing room, and Future was in there, slight like that, just some small ass shit. And then I was on a tour of Future, like, like that. I ain't gonna lie, my life been coming full circle. That shit crazy. Did, does Future call you for that, or like, how does that, how does that happen? Yeah, yeah, he wanted me on that. It's kind of. Do you feel like? I don't know, at some point, do you feel like that dream happened in real life, too? Like, you just walked in there? Oh, no, that dream happened in real life already. Okay. Like, but 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 not how, it, not how exactly how it happened, because right, I yeah, remember yeah. the shit. Yeah. 
I had one dream happen in real life. I was in high school playing basketball before I even thought about making music, right? Mm -hmm. Crazy as shit. I, I, I had a dream that I was performing from a big ass crowd of people and I was rapping this song and I woke up, I was like, man, how the fuck I came up with that shit? That shit was hard as fuck. I remember the song, but I don't remember the song, but I remember it was hard as fuck. I'm like, man, I came up with that shit, man. Yeah, and then I had a dream. I, I had that dream, and then, like, a couple years later, I started doing, like, big, crazy shows. I'm like, damn. Like, one of these was that dream. Like, mm. that shit crazy. One of those was that song. One of those was that song. Had to be. Mm. Unless I'm going to get bigger than that. Like, you are going to get bigger than that. I'm saying, like, like crazy unless it's that. And I'm like, damn. How the fuck I came up with the... Beyonce, I miss you. Like how I came up with that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you? Who's like one person? Like I feel like you've crossed a lot of people off the bucket list already, though. Like that you've wanted to work with. Who's one person that you haven't gotten to do something with that you kind of hope by? You know, maybe part three, you get to throw them on there. Probably like, probably like the weekend. Mm. Yeah. The weekend, Frank Ocean. Them two for real. I don't really really care about too many people like that. Yeah, you want some like something different. Yeah, I want something different. I don't really care about no rappers in there. Frank Ocean's a good one. Yeah. Frank, please. I'm Frank. Out of there. I ain't never get that shit. Man, that is like <laughs> fuck it. I don't want to meet this nigga. Hey, look, you never say never, bro. I feel like a lot of artists be like they not gonna do shit, and then you know somehow I know it's like a different analogy, but then like J Cole goes on like a feature run with like a mil with like a bunch of people. You never I'm gonna know. tell you, bro. It's like <clears throat> I feel like. If I was like, in the studio frame, bro, I wouldn't even want to know what the fuck to say in that motherfucker. Like, you put a mic in my phone, I probably wouldn't even know what to say. Like, if you were talking to Frank or you in the studio you know what I'm saying? Like, if we making a song, like, okay. I don't feel like nothing I have in my brain is good enough to put on this track. <laughs> like, you might got to do my verse for me. That's how, that's how amazed I'd be at that shit. Just, like, being in the studio with him. Yeah, that shit great. Yeah, I think of, like, Frank's career, and it's crazy how, like, he's done a lot, but also not a lot, and how influential he's been. And how he could just like, is he is he doing Coachella this weekend? Yep. He's just headlining. He's just headlining Coachella and hasn't released music in four years, four years since 2019, right? Yeah, 2019 because he had like he was gonna do Coachella back then before the pandemic or 2020 because he was gonna do Coachella before the pandemic. But I think it's crazy how like a man like that like doesn't put out nothing and can still do. And I'm really excited actually to see. Him at Coachella. I mean, I'm not going, but I'm gonna watch the live stream. But I'm excited to see what he does. I'm sure you'll be tuned in too. Man, fucking right, man. When is it? Is Sunday, huh? Sunday? Is he performing Sunday? Can I look it up for me? Oh yeah, he's the last day. Yeah, so he's Sunday. That's yeah. crazy, man. And then weekend too. Like I think a weekend's Coachella performance, like shit after my dear melancholy. And I'm just like, bro, bro that's he's insane. That shit was crazy. I remember that shit like yesterday. I used to be listening to it live on my phone. Mm. I was like, I go in the car instead of playing my melancholy on the on the app music. I play the live version from Coachella. That nigga sound like he was about to cry in that motherfucker. Did you get to see him on the tour that he just did? No, man. Damn. I wanted to. Bad as fuck. I wanted to. I ain't gonna lie. That might have been my favorite show I've been to in like a long time. It was that hard? Bro, what? I gotta find... I, but when, we, when we're done interviewing, um, I'm gonna show you. There's like a video. He did The Hills, right? Mm. And somebody... He did at MetLife Stadium where the Giants and the Jets play. Mm. So there's somebody took a video from outside of the stadium and... When when the beat drops and the fire comes up, you like you kind of see like the light flare up and then like you hear just people like screaming like the lyrics, bro. It was, oh, it I want to see that. Try yeah. to find that. Send me that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. After I went to the weekend concert when I was in high school. Okay. I got the video. I sound like a fucking bitch in the back. I, I hear myself saying, <laughs> "You ain't on the road, hey man. Fuck no. I'm in a project every day." Going to the weekend concert. <laughs> bro, them like, man, you tripping, bro. I put that shit on the car. You're like, man, you tripping, bro. You're like throwing Crew Love, too. I think Crew Love, it's like Crew Love and The Hills are the two songs that go the craziest yeah. at the shows. Because yeah, Crew Love is such a class. That's that's the one off. That's the one that we didn't mention off Take Care, by the way. But yeah. Crew Love, um, that one, that one in The Hills, like the whole stadium, like, and then at the end of the show, bro, they had, um, like he has like a circle platform where he's like standing on and like beams just shoot into the sky like it's touching like heaven and it was fucking man it's it's hard. It's how hard. do you like okay so you read so let's say you know when you reach that level right we got like the rob 49 stadium tour man like what is your vision for that <sighs> if you even have if you could even possibly conceptualize it in your brain right now like what would be rob 49's vision for a stadium 
like a set piece. I just want to make that shit fun. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I ain't got no set piece or nothing like that. I don't know. Got to put some like vultures and like some island imagery and. I, I really don't know. I really don't know. I know it's gonna be hard though, cause I'm a designer myself. Mm. I ain't gonna let nobody play with me like that. I want to do my first shit like I'm gonna do it myself. Right, right. So what's next for you after this? We got the project, and then what are we gonna be cooking up after that? Uh, I'm so, trying to drop touring. right after. I'm trying to drop again right after. Me and her are supposed to be coming out with a tape. Fire. Yeah, he asked me about it the other day. So you got like the you said how many joints you did with him back when you met him? You did five, right? Five, yeah, I think five. So you have so after this one that we putting out, it's like what four left? Yeah, he 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 got he put one out on his album. Oh yeah, 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 okay. Um, I'm putting a new one out. I already put we gonna have two more. Okay. So then you got to work on some more joints for the project. Yeah, we gonna make some. Fire, Rob Forty Nine, you hear about That's tough. Oh man. That's some legendary shit for you too, man. Hell yeah. I used to be listening to G Herbal every day too. That ball like I'm Kobe. Like I remember all that shit. That shit crazy. I mean, fuck. It is what it is now, nah, but that shit crazy. So we're gonna be dropping again. Yeah. Um Herbal project on the way. Um more touring this year? Yeah, I might tour again this year. Uh Cologne. Houses. Cologne. Houses. What else? Eighteen wheelers. Eighteen wheelers. You buy you selling them? Buying them? Buying them. Buying them, okay. Buying them, getting contracts and shit. Buy them, man. Yeah. Well, congrats on everything, bro. Thank you, bro. Congrats on everything, girl. Oh, you want to ask him a question? Come on, Cal. Come ask a Cal's question. I'll give you a Cal's question today. Please. You got a question for me? Yeah. I do indeed. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Cal's Questions. Rob, it's good to see you again. It's good to been, see you, so The last time I saw you here in New York, it was about a year ago. Uh, my question for you today is I want to bring you back to that legendary Vulture Island video yeah. that you shot maybe about a year ago, Little Baby. You know, you had Baby in there, you had Kevin Gates out there. It seemed like you had the whole like New Orleans out there for your video. Yeah. So what I want to know is, as you're working on new music and your next project, is is there a song off your next project that deserves a video like that one? That you're going to bring the people out for? you going to have special guests out for? What's a song off your next project? Or just a song that you have coming up that's going to deserve a treatment like that one? Damn, you never know with that type of stuff. One of the, my favorite what? songs on there is called I Believe You, though. I like I Believe You. So proud of that one. I made that song. I made that song the night I shot Vulture Island video, matter of fact. Crazy as fuck. Like, I'm talking about the original Vulture Island video. So, video. yeah. You remember that night, huh? That shit was hard, huh? Uh, that shit was crazy. Good question, Cal. Well, look, man, I appreciate you being here. Um, freestyle now, by the time y'all see this, so go check that out, man. It's really dope freestyle. One take. Real Rob 49. Real bars. I appreciate you again, my guy. Um, before we get out of here, let the people know they follow you out. Anything else you want to let them know, now is the time to do it. Uh, this camera right here. Follow me on everything at Rob 49. Up R-O-B 49 U-P on everything, man. I don't really want to let y'all know nothing, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, For God 2 EP out by the time y'all seen this or coming out. So make sure y'all go stream Most that. Um, Herbo collab project on the way. Freestyle out now. Go follow him. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. Love is free. Support is free. But y'all renew that. Till next time, Rob49 on the radar. We out. Bow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fire interview.